All right, I'm leaving the house to go to New York. First time in my life where I'm doing a whole trip by myself. My bowels are telling me I'm pretty anxious, so let's see how it goes. Woo! First 30 seconds of driving done. I'm at the gas station filling up, and then it's an hour to the airport. And after getting on the highway and driving a bit, I realized I forgot my coat, so here I am back home. I got my coat. I guess I should start a cry count. Cry count one. The good news is, is I was a quarter of a mile away from when I couldn't really turn around on the highway to get back home to get it. So I was able to get it. So I'm now leaving 30 minutes after when I originally planned. Thankfully, I planned for a little extra time. They say get to the airport two hours ahead. It looks like I will, and I'm sure I'll have more than enough time to get through security with that, but... Oh, uh, the anxiety. Uh, I am at the airport. I used the tip of using Google Maps Street View to find, you know, where I would need to park. And then all of the lots were full. And the Cleveland International Airport is really inaccessible. Their signage for finding the other lots is horrible. I drove around in circles for a while. Now I'm parked and I have to hike. Mm. But first, I'm gonna change into a sweater because the hood is giving me sensory issues. All right, I took a picture of where my van is parked. So glad I have my coat. I don't know if you knew this, car accidents have increased by roughly 20% since COVID started because everybody is so stressed. And the drive up here was, uh, yeah, there were some close calls. Well, now I gotta figure out this. Thankfully, somebody helped me figure out how to use the thing to get the ticket, but then there was no directions for where to go and there's no directions on I don't know <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to do there's a bus out there I don't know if it's my bus and it's a long ways away and I'm already in a lot of pain I was in the wrong spot so now I hauled my stuff all the way back I'm on an elevator that smells like pits <sighs> this is so it turns out that I needed to take a train though nobody told me that I, I found the train because I overheard two people talking. They said they were going to the airport, so I followed them. And the one guy was like, yeah, I work at the airport. So if you're parked down there, that's fine. They let you do that for five days. My trip is six days. So I hope I don't come back and find my van towed. Oh my God, that was overloading. Um, so I've, I've gotten into the airport. I checked my bag. The person was really rude and unhelpful. Didn't seem to notice my sunflower lanyard. I am in a lot of pain. And now I have to gear myself up to get through TSA. But I find out that my flight has been delayed for 97 minutes. I have extra time that I don't necessarily want. So I just waited in line to go into TSA and they scanned it and they're like, you don't have TSA pre-check. I have no idea what that is. And then I asked about the sunflower lanyard and assistance because I don't know what to do. And they're like, yeah, you have to call ahead to do that. But I filled that out on my check-in that I might need extra help. And the freaking lights in the TSA are flickering. Oh. Holy fuck. While I was in the TSA line, I pulled up my boarding pass on my phone. The app had refreshed and my boarding pass was gone and I still can't find it. I asked one TSA person about assistance and she was like, oh, you're supposed to call ahead. That's an accessibility barrier if we have to call ahead. Like, I thought, I thought I put it through on the app, but, but no, you have to call. You, you don't provide assistance to people with disabilities unless they call ahead. So if they show up and they didn't know that, you just say, sorry, we're not, we're not gonna help you. And she said, okay, so just talk to the person when you get up to the line and show them and they'll be able to assist you. So I did that. He had no clue. He was like, what? Uh, yeah, just take that out and put it in the bin. <laughs> so I have to take this off and no assistance, no knowledge, no nothing. Oh my gosh, so I got help from a Delta worker to get my boarding pass back on my app. And she was like, oh my gosh, yeah, it just completely wiped it off the app for some reason. Oh, thankfully, for some reason, TSA didn't need the boarding pass for me to go through just my ID. I think I'm at a cry count three. I'm not sure. I've now taken a screenshot of my boarding pass. So if I'm locked out again and I need it, I can just pull up the photo and they can still scan it. As I was planning this trip, I was wondering about making this travel vlog if I would 
have the spoons to be able to make it and I'm actually finding it's it's helping me so any barrier that I come across I'm playing in my head okay what is the next thing that I'm going to say and tell you guys uh, about what is happening and so I, I'm able to disassociate a little bit <laughs> the stress of what I'm going through isn't as intense because I'm thinking of it in terms of a, of a video. But I'm glad they allow you to bring your own food in through TSA now. So I got my salt, and I got some leftovers. And I brought a paper plate and a fork. And my flight finally arrived. Apparently there was a maintenance issue that they had to fix. It's probably a Boeing. Why do they blast music for the planet's part? I think these are designed to cause the most pain possible. Like, whose back is shaped like this? I actually enjoy the actual flying part. I love the view and being in the air, though there is a good bit of sensory stuff with the decompression and cold air blowing on you, etc. But now that we're in the air, I notice another maintenance issue that they missed. Why is the exit sign falling out of the interior? I'm in New York City. I landed. I have a little gap in the footage from this leg of the journey because I just shut down completely, but I had an incredible support person named Tracy pick me up in her car at the airport, and without her, I could not have done that leg of the journey to get from the airport to the apartment where I was staying. I would have completely shut down and not function so thank you so much Tracy but I was able to finish the vlog now well I made it I don't know what the cry count was I think I think total traveling was five but then a as soon as I got into the apartment I just lost all um uh, yeah I I broke down in sobs even when I was trying not to. I really want to be home right now with all the hopefully fun things that I have planned. I just wish I was home right now. And traveling is so hard. So, and travel. I'm glad I'm here, but it is really uncomfortable not having my, not being in my own space with my things that I know I'm safe in. So, so if you struggle with traveling, don't feel bad. I wanna normalize this. It's okay to have these needs and to like traveling sucks for everybody. For people like me, it sucks a lot more as a society. I think we should put in place things that make traveling not suck so bad for everybody but especially those with disabilities.